<laughs> Bye, Zach. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> See you later. So cold exposure has been blowing up online. Changing scientists' understanding of how the body works. Around 12 months ago, I was introduced to Wim Hof on Joe Rogan's podcast. About changing the chemistry right now in your body. I began exploring his breathing techniques, along with cold showers and his online program. I started traveling around with my friends looking for cold water. And I loved it. The only problem is, in downtown Toronto, it is very hard to find cold bodies of water that you can just jump into safely. So I'm gonna show you the setup that I've made to enable me to do this. So, it's very simple. We've got a 95 gallon trash can um, just sitting here. You can get these anywhere. I'll have links down in the description. Um, and so the biggest issue that I was running into is that when you put a body of water out into Canadian winters, it's going to freeze. So the easiest way to you know, make sure it didn't freeze was to keep the water moving as much as possible. Um, so what you need to do that is just a generic pond pump. Um, again, I'll have links down in the description. Uh, this one's by Mastercraft. It's a little bit overkill, um, but the water is definitely not going to freeze. And I just have that running on an interval timer. timer. <clears throat> um, and then the only other thing that you're going to need to make this um, a usable cold tub on your balcony um, is to plug the two holes down here. There is usually a, a handle here for like when people in garbage men are like grabbing it. Yeah. And so like it's usually a handle that goes in there. So there's just two plugs behind that tape. And that's as simple as using two um, drain plugs. I think ours was about an inch or an inch and a half, as well as just a little bit of sealant. Um, so I'm going to get in this tub and talk to you about some of the benefits. So it usually takes me about five to 10 seconds to control my breathing enough where I can talk to you guys. So it's really cold today. The main thing that I've noticed with the cold exposure, um, obviously Wim makes a lot of physical um, health claims. And I mean, it's hard for me to gauge a lot of those. Mainly for me, the biggest thing is mindset. I mean, I, I used to hate winter. I used to hate going outside. I used to be apprehensive every time I would open a door to go outside in the winter. And that just created a negative mindset. Whereas now, I expose myself to this willingly, which is super uncomfortable. And so I, I noticed that like, I'm, I'm way more you know, prone to going outside in the winter, exploring, doing acti activities. Um, I'm way more focused when I'm working. As well. And like, it's just an amazing way to wake up. Um, your, your vascular system afterwards is raging, your skin is beet red. I mean, it's like getting, it's like the feeling and the endorphin rush you have from a workout. And it's, it's as easily accessible as just getting in the cold water, um, really embracing it. And like, I'm not comfortable right now, but I'm okay with it and I'm happy. And yeah, and I mean, I will say at the end of this, I will do, I'll put my head under. There's a huge difference between um, being in here with your head out of the water and having your head in the water. Like when you put your head under ice cold water, your whole world changes, your body goes into survival mode. Like you're, again, you're in a place like downtown Toronto, you, it's, hard to, it's hard to subject yourself to those kinds of like really um, core human instincts. Um, and me just subjecting myself to this, um, like I said, it's, it's been profound and I love it. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do in the summer, um, but I'll figure it out. But like I said, I'm just, once you control your breathing and you become completely okay with being here right now, um, yeah, you're, you're, you're totally cool with it. So I got a couple more minutes in here and I'll do a plunge under water um, and I'll wrap up with you after. Okay, so I'm coming to the end of my session. I'm gonna do a full head plunge. One thing I wanna say is don't do this without supervision. There has been cold water blackouts um, and it's totally not safe to do by yourself. So make sure you have supervision when you do this. But like I said, it transforms your mind.
Yeah, and there's like, your vascular system is like absolutely raging. Like it's, yeah, there's, there's no better way to alter your environment, like at all. Um, and yeah, doing it in a place like downtown Toronto where it's so hard to get these sorts of feelings, um, I think it only just multiplies the value. So yeah, who doesn't want to, you know, jump in cold water every single morning? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Like, it's a Canadian hot tub. So. It's a Canadian, yeah. It's not a good idea.